This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sweet Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. Well, welcome to your Friday East Alabama and West Georgia. Dr. Don with your prime time forecast for Friday, January 12th, 2024, brought to you by yeah, the fine folks at Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. What a great day to stop by Boondocks on beautiful Lake Wedowie in Wedowie, Alabama for those wings, barbecue, pork, chicken, brisket. And you know, the best part of it all, it's the ice cream. Stop by and tell them all that Dr. Don sent you by. You can give them a call at 256-357-4039 because they can handle your catering needs as well. Located at 2201 Highway 431 in Wedowie, Alabama. And hey, the Dr. Don Road Show will be at Boondocks coming up this spring. We'll give you a date uh, in the next couple of weeks or so. And we're looking forward to hanging out on the beautiful lake up there as things start to warm up and we thaw out a little bit. Because let me tell you something, folks. It's going to be brutally cold next week. I'll tell you all about it in just a few moments. Also, be sure you get in touch with Jamie Dukas to handle all of your insurance needs. You can scan the QR code on the screen, click the link at the top of the video, or call Jamie at 256. 256- 6831-7770. Jamie can save you money in Alabama and Georgia for all of your insurance needs. Get in touch with Jamie Dukas today. Also, make sure you head over to our YouTube channel and click that little bell so that when we go live to cover severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that push notification. And um, it's very important that you do that because you're not going to get that notification necessarily on Facebook. So be sure you follow us or subscribe to us and click that little bell over on uh, YouTube. All right, so all modes of severe weather will be possible today. Um, I, again, folks, and we spent a good bit of time talking about this last night, I don't anticipate a red letter severe weather outbreak across East Alabama and West Georgia. I think uh, severe storms will be much more likely in Northwest Alabama and back across Mississippi. Uh, the problem is there will be severe weather over there. As a matter of fact, it's already started and you're going to see that all over the news this morning and you're going to get anxious. I believe when the storms move into East Alabama and West Georgia this afternoon, they will not be as strong. Or let me say this, they will, be, they will not be as widespread. There may be onesies and twosies that go strong and severe across our area, but I don't think we're going to see them in numbers like we're seeing over in Arkansas and about to move into Mississippi this morning. Uh, So keep that in mind. We are in a slight risk category across our area. Northwest Alabama is under a uh, enhanced risk. Timing for Central Alabama, 11 a.m. through 2 p.m. And for East Alabama, West Georgia, 1 p.m. through 4 p.m. It'd be 2 to 5 over in the eastern time zone. Uh, Again, a few strong to severe storms will be possible But I don't think everybody is going to be dealing with severe weather this afternoon in our particular area. Now, what you probably will be dealing with is going to be high wind. Here's the latest graphic from the National Weather Service in Birmingham showing the expected highest wind gust. This is not sustained. Uh, I mean, you may not see but one or two gusts to this extent, but this is the highest Wind gust expected this afternoon. Places like Alexander City in the upper 30s. Randolph County, you're going to be in, you know, 35 to 40 mile per hour wind gust. Up there on the ridge uh, from Mount Chihaw, maybe um, a little bit southwest of Mount Chihaw, all the way back up into Cherokee County, in the higher elevations, we could see some wind gusts approaching 50 miles per hour. And then down there uh, in the Auburn Opelika area, back up into Chambers County, we're looking at about 40 mile per hour wind gust. The sustained winds will be 15 to 20, maybe occasionally 25 miles per hour. 
Uh, so it's going to be a very windy day, and this is even if you don't get thunderstorms. You're going to be dealing with wind. So make sure all of your outdoor items are secured so they don't end up where? <laughs> In your neighbor's front yard. Now, so that's the deal with severe weather. Uh, we've got uh, yet another storm system headed our way the first part of next week. And this one, the headlines, is going to be cold. We have an Arctic air blast headed our way. Uh, Monday's okay. Monday night's okay. We may have to deal with some showers Monday afternoon into Monday night. Does not look particularly severe at this point. And then the bottom drops out on Tuesday. And so the coldest air of the year on the way for the balance of next week. During that transition, Monday night into Tuesday morning, we could be dealing with some frozen precipitation. And just uh, in the last 12 hours, the uh, models have pushed this winter precipitation a little further south and a little further east. So now it is now uh, showing up south of the I-20 corridor. Uh, portions of Cleburne, Randolph, Clay, uh, Tallapoosa, Dega showing the possibility of some winter mix late Monday night into Tuesday morning. We're talking, I think, north of the I-20 corridor right now. We're looking at light snow accumulation. Uh, I-20 south, we're looking at light ice accumulation. And when I say light ice accumulation, I'm talking about less than a tenth of an inch. Typically, about a tenth doesn't cause that much trouble uh, you really need to get up to about a quarter of an inch of ice before you start having significant issues with icing. Uh, but right now, it looks like uh, more of an icing situation across the northern part of our coverage area in East Alabama and West Georgia, uh, maybe somewhere around a tenth of an inch of uh, freezing rain. Uh, so there could be some slick spots on the roadways and that sort of thing, but I don't think we're looking at, you know, major power outages with just a tenth or less of an inch of freezing rain. Again, folks, it is Friday. We have a major storm system that's impacting the southeastern United States this afternoon. Uh, then we have Saturday and Sunday and then Monday, and we're talking about this happening late Monday night. So there's a, a, a large amount of time between now and then. And we've got to get today's storm system out of the way uh, before we can really see the resolution on this potential winter storm. Uh, so, yeah, take what you see today with a grain of salt. Uh, this graphic I'm showing you right now is from the official National Weather Service. Uh, but this is going to change. This is not going to be what's going to happen Monday night. I can almost guarantee you uh, this is not going to be the end result. Uh, it's going to change. It's either going to change for the good or for the bad. It's either going to move back north or it's going to move south. Uh, we're either going to increase what we think is going to happen or we're going to decrease it. It's going to change. It will fluctuate many times between now and the actual event. Uh, so keep that in mind. Don't go to work today and tell everybody Dr. Don said we had a snowstorm coming because that's not what I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you that it's going to get brutally cold. We can tell you that with great confidence. But as far as the winter precipitation is concerned, extreme low confidence at this point. But as we get closer and certainly as we get past today's event, I think our confidence level will start to go up on whatever it is we end up forecasting for Monday night into Tuesday. But you can guarantee, you can be guaranteed one thing. It is going to be brutally cold next week, and I'm going to show you that on the six-day forecast here in just a few moments. All right, let's take a look at your current conditions. 48 degrees at the venue in five points, uh, mostly cloudy skies. Wind out of the east-northeast at 9 miles per hour, gusting to 12. Humidity is 78%. The barometric pressure 29.92. 41 degree dew point, no rain in the past 24 hours. We're expecting to pick up a quarter to a half inch of rain with today's event. High temperature yesterday was 60, sunrise this morning at 6.43, sunsets this evening at 4.55 p.m. It's going to be a cloudy day with rain uh, probably moving in at just about any time. 
Uh, 62 will be the high this afternoon, and then the temperatures are going to start dropping off later on this afternoon. So we'll hit that 62 probably around 1 or 2 p.m. 60 over in Ashland, 60 in Lineville, Widawi, 59 in Ranburn, 64 in Lafayette, and we top out at 65 down in Valley, Alabama. So here's the six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. Uh, that should be a 100% chance of rain for today. Let's see if we can't get that fixed right quick. There you go. That is correct. A 100% chance of rain today. Uh, out there on Tuesday, that is incorrect. I got gremlins going on this morning in the computer system. I'm not sure what's causing all of this. Now, now we're going somewhere. <laughs> Y'all were liking that 100% out there on Tuesday, weren't you? <laughs> That's incorrect. Um, so today, I uh, changed back. I'm not sure what's going on here. Anyway, a 100% chance of, uh, of rain, showers, and thunderstorms today. Again, I don't believe it's going to be a significant weather, uh, severe weather outbreak, but there could be one or two severe storms uh, across the region. So you got to remain weather aware today across East Alabama and West Georgia have multiple ways of receiving severe weather information. 62 will be the high this afternoon down to 28 tonight. The, the rain's long gone before we get that cold. So no frozen precipitation worries this evening. A nice weekend, Saturday and Sunday, sunny both days, 47 on Saturday, 49 on Sunday. Look at the red numbers at the bottom. I mean, all the way across the board. Uh, Monday, we start the day partly sunny. We go mostly cloudy by afternoon. We'll give you a 20% chance of a shower late in the day. And uh, then we will see things transition after midnight. We'll drop below freezing. Uh, if there's enough moisture left in the area, then we might see some of this start changing over to a mixture of rain, sleet, snow, freezing rain. I think uh, I-20 and south would be more of a freezing rain event. And then down there around the I-85 corridor, I don't think we're looking at any accumulation of anything there. I believe that will just be a mixture maybe for several hours. Uh, and I think you got to go north of the I-20 corridor to get into accumulating snow. And even there, we're only talking about a half inch, maybe to an inch. That's based on what we know at the moment. That's going to change. I promise you it will change. We'll have a different forecast for you tomorrow morning. Uh, and then Saturday morning, it's going to get changed even a little bit more. That's just the way it works. And then all this is gone on uh, Tuesday, probably mid-morning. And we're only going to make it to about 33 degrees Tuesday for your daytime high. I'm telling you, it's going to be brutally cold out there next week. Look at the overnight low Tuesday night, 13 degrees. That is pipe bursting weather. You got all weekend to make sure that your outdoor faucets and your radiator and your automobile, all that's got to be taken care of this weekend. You got to make sure you're prepared or you're going to be Calling that plumber first thing Tuesday morning, and it's going to take him a week to get to you because everybody else in the world's calling him. So don't let that happen to you. Make sure you protect your exposed pipes. Make sure you take care of your automobiles. Make sure your pets are taken care of. And if you know someone who doesn't have adequate heat, especially elderly, check on them. Make sure they're okay. And then on Wednesday, sunshine, 37, 21, your overnight low. We slowly moderate as we get toward next weekend. So here's your six-day, uh, or actually your um, your Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar. And you can see we already have some severe weather that's taking place uh, back over Arkansas, northern Louisiana, about to cross over the Mississippi River into Mississippi. Uh, we have two tornado warnings that are underway at the moment, and we have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings uh, that's crossing, uh, like I said, over the Mississippi River uh, at this hour. We have a tornado warning uh, sitting up there just uh, north of uh, or just south of Holly Grove. That's in Arkansas. And then we have another tornado warning that is uh, pretty close to Greenville right there on the Mississippi, Arkansas state line. Uh, all those storms are moving off to the northeast, and that's what I'm telling you, folks. You're going to see a lot of this this morning over in Arkansas and in Mississippi, but 
as the storms make it into Alabama uh, later on this morning and early this afternoon. Uh, we just don't think the air is going to be as conducive over here as it is over there. That's an area of uh, greater instability. Uh, we're watching that warm front that's racing to the north to see how far north it makes it. If it um, doesn't make it across your area before this line gets here, then you have nothing to worry about. If it does, then it does increase your chances of seeing a strong or potentially severe storm this afternoon. We're watching all this, and of course, we'll have live coverage in the event that we need to go live this afternoon. Most of this will be covered by post on Facebook, uh, but if you do have life-threatening weather in your area, we'll certainly go live. Uh, it's going to be a windy day regardless, so don't lose track of that. Even if you have no thunderstorms, it's going to be windy. Uh, and as we look at the radar right now, currently, uh, this is uh, at uh, 6, 11 a.m. Central, you do have some showers already moving into East Alabama. We've got a few showers over here around Montevallo, Childersburg, even in Clay County up around Mount Chihaw and along I-20. Uh, we're beginning to see some showers. So th this was in, in Randolph County has got a few showers on the western side as well. That will continue to uh, to develop as we go throughout the morning. You can see more showers down around the Gulf Coast region uh, streaming on off to the northeast. Uh, so rain this morning is not a bad thing. That's actually a good thing. These showers that we'll see this morning in the morning hours have uh, very little chance of going severe. But the more rain we can get, the better coverage we can get in here this morning, the cooler it will uh, may the, the air temperature will stay cooler, and then that will help keep st uh, stability down, instability down, uh, so that when this line of storms get uh, in here this afternoon, uh, perhaps we won't see any severe weather. So rain is a good thing. Uh, sunshine would not be a good thing this morning. So we'll watch that part of this as well. This is extremely um, complex situation. I mean, there's just all kinds of things that have got to come together to get severe weather. And there's just a huge question as to whether that can actually take place this morning or this afternoon. Uh, so we'll watch it for you as we go throughout the day. Hey, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my camera. Uh, this thing, this is a new camera, <clears throat> and it appears to have a mind of its own. There we go. Now you can see me. Don't forget to text the word ALERT to 256-540-8664. That's Randolph County's HyperReach. HyperReach uh, will send you important weather information during times of severe weather from the Randolph County Commission. So be sure you sign up for that today. And don't forget to follow us over on Twitter. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at drdonwx.com, our home on the World Wide Web. If you'd like to support us, you can go to our website, and you'll find that Donate button in the upper right-hand corner. And we have multiple ways for you to support us if you'd like to do that. And if you own a business and would like to be a partner, just send me a message on Messenger, and I can tell you how you go about getting started. I'll have you started by this time tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll be watching this for you throughout the day, and again, we'll come right back and give you live severe weather coverage if we believe that that is necessary here on Dr. Don's Weather. Enjoy your Friday, and we'll take a look at that snow possibility again tomorrow morning right here on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sweet Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.